Hey, what's going on, friends? This is Ty Boylan, Ty Boylan Reviews. Uh, now is the promise review from Alpine Beard Oil Company that I was promising you. I've tested it out for a couple of weeks, and uh, we want to do a quick demonstration of uh, my morning routine, and then uh, we'll get into it. Uh, this, this content is sponsored by Alpine Beard Oil. They did send me a bottle of oil for free to test out, but this is going to be a very unbiased review, so stick along with me. So the first thing that I'm going to do, um, because I haven't washed my beard in a couple of days, is I'm going to do a quick little co-wash, and I'm using a Shea Moisture High Porosity Moisture Seal Co-Wash. So, all I'm going to do... Just get my beard. Nice and wet. Get up under there. You don't want to neglect the under here. Alright. Then because of my hair texture. Is a little straight but thick. Make sure you get from the root all the way down to the bottom of the strand. And I'm not worrying about this lathering because it is a conditioner, so it's not going to lather. Much like a shampoo. If I had more time, I would do a deep condition to like a plastic bag over my beard. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for about three to five minutes and then I'll be back. All right, I threw the magical TV on back. So I'm not just pat drying my beard. Get up under there. You can rub a little bit, but don't scrub so you don't get all the oils out of your beard. All right, so now next thing I'm gonna do, put a little Maestro's beard butter in my beard to help shape it up a little bit. This is about all you need, depending on the size of your beard. If your beard is like mine, then that's all you need. So you rub down, rub up, and then you rub side to side, making sure you get all the way down to the skin. For a healthy beard, you have to have healthy skin. So a lot of how your beard is gonna turn out has a lot to do with how you treat your inside too. Make sure you drink a lot of water, take multivitamins, you know, eat some leafy greens, plant-based diet if you can. I know you see my skin, melanin, all up in your face. All right, so now that that's rubbed in, I'm gonna grab a comb. <clears throat> And then just slowly slowly comb out your beard. You don't want to pull or go too fast because uh, you will uh, yank your hair out. And that defeats the whole purpose of growing a beard, right? Right. All right, so now that we've done that, now to the part we've all been waiting for, the beard oil itself. So before I put this on, um, again, this is forest scent. So it's supposed to smell like sandalwood, pine, birch, cedarwood. It is a one fluid ounce. And again, it is from the Alpine Beard Oil Company and they're located in Colorado. And you can also find 
um, different scents of their beard oils on alpinebeardoil.com. And the ingredients it says are organic jojoba oil, organic avocado oil, vitamin E oil, and essential oils, which um, it has under here, sandalwood, cedar, and pine and birch. So the birch has a little smoky flavor. The pine is, of course, kind of um, woodsy, cedar wood also. But uh, what I liked about it is it doesn't really have a real strong scent to you. So once you put it on, it kind of dies down within maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It's a really pre pleasant fragrance. Uh, so let me show you what I do. So we just get our dropper, fill it up. My beard is thick, so I need about five to six drops. So we just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because it's cold outside. And then we just rub that in from your palms to your fingertips. We want to make sure that we get that pretty oily. And then we're just going to do, work this in the same way that we did the beard butter. From root to tip. Go down. Go up. Make sure you make really good contact with the skin, up under your hair, below your hairline, above your hairline. It keeps your follicles hydrated. And this stuff is really good. It, it I only have to reapply maybe once during the day, especially since it's uh, started turning cold. But uh, it gets me pretty much through the first half of my day. And we're just gonna comb that out one more time. And you, as you can see, it's coming like butter now. Yeah, it's making that sound because I got a man beard. I don't have one of those baby beards. So you're gonna hear that grown man stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And I can't lay my head down with my hands. I need a comb. All right, it's a very nice shine and sheen to my beard. It's not too oily. It's not over oily. It uh, feels extremely light, so it's not weighing my beard down any. And it has me ready for the day. So if I were to give it a score out of uh, one to 10, I would give it I would give it an eight, eight and a half. It's uh, pretty good stuff. If I didn't have to uh, reapply, I would definitely give it a higher score. But um, it works, it does what it's supposed to do. So the people over at Alpine Beard Oil did an outstanding job. If anybody else wants me to do a review, uh, just hit me up in my DM or you can email me at toddboylandmusic at gmail.com. Peace.